Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Kelly Clarkson, and I'm going to talk about my favorites. Honestly, I haven't gone karaoke in a, in a while because I've been kelly for like years now so but when I did go I love to do things that are like rap like because people expect me to like sing so I like get up there and do like Biggie or Tupac I'll just get up there and do something that people are like why is she doing that because I can oh I will belt any um, all the divas right like Heart, Annie Lennox, Bonnie Raitt, Aretha Franklin any kind of song where I can just wail in my car and then be well, I should be embarrassed, but I don't get embarrassed. Like people pulling up at the light and they're like, she is enjoying this song. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. My favorite thing about working with Snoop Dogg is you have the smell of, he loves the berry skittle, but you have this like, you smell berry and you smell weed. <laughs> I could close my eyes. I'm like, oh, Snoop just got here. Like it's, <laughs> it's amazing. It's so fun. He's so professional. He's so fun to work with. He is genuinely like a super big fan of other artists and being supportive of that. And it's just cool. Like someone with that, that amount of expertise in the industry at this point too. I know ones I don't like. People are like, let's go see a movie. I'm like, okay. I love movies, but I don't want to date anyone in the film, so it's like, we're not gonna talk during a movie. Are you a talker in a movie? No. A perfect date for me would be like on my ranch, pack some wine, go off in the forest somewhere and like chit chat. I like that, I'm very chill. Or like four wheel. I would like to go four wheeling. I'm gonna do that anyway without a date. I'm just gonna do that myself with the skirt and some wine. <laughs> Look out, Montana. <laughs> It's kind of this dream job I didn't know I wanted, which is why I said no a few times. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, let's try it. I love the celebrity part. I think it's fun. It's cool because you get to meet people you like really genuinely love and are a fan of, and I'm like one of those nerd fans for things. But really, it's the like extraordinary humans you get to meet. Like I'm such an empath, so like who I surround myself with is very important emotionally for me. So like I think I feel like the world is very heavy. Um, a lot of times in the news can be very heavy. I know we need to hear it to progress and change, but I like having these amazing, extraordinary humans on set and they're telling us what they're doing and it makes you feel good. And it sounds like a pageant answer, but it's a real thing. To go home and be like, we were part of something cool that maybe domino affected like in other communities, that's pretty cool. You can tell I'm like really laughing hard and about to pee my pants. It just gets in this like really high pitched, like I can't breathe, like just sound. That happened. I'm pretty sure with Sandra Bullock. I was so nervous. I'm such a big Sandra Bullock fan. We're just like sitting here talking like that's normal. I just said the most awkward things in that interview. <laughs> that's what, that's when it goes high pitch like that. That's my mom. <laughs> it sounds like my mom. A recent one was kind of my, it, personally there was a lot behind the scenes for me going on. And then also to be able to sing I Will Always Love You as a tribute for Dolly Parton, like when she's standing there on stage looking at you, not nerve wracking at all. Um, and, and also trying to pay tribute to that. I love her version and I love Whitney. So I was trying to walk that line and also implement myself. It was just a really cool moment to like, for one of the greatest songs ever written, to be able to be standing there with the writer and such an icon watching me do it, cheering me on. That was, that was pretty cool. And she's so nice. And it was just a big day for me in general, like personally in my life, a lot of things kind of fell into place that day, so. So my dressing room versus my band's dressing room, very different. Theirs looks like a freaking Whole Foods. They literally buy the entire store and tequila. And I'm outing y'all. Yeah, that's right, I said what I said. And mine is literally like lemon, some honey, and water, and like some caffeinated tea. <laughs> my band though, they're funny. I'm like, whoa, we're going to the grocery store. <laughs> I have written almost every song for my next record, I feel like, on a plane. So there's something about 30,000 feet in the air that's inspiring to me. I don't know if I'm trying to fly away from life. I don't know what that is <laughs> like, but I've been writing a lot on planes and I figured that out the other day. I was like, have I written this entire, should I call this record 30,000 feet in the air? Because I feel like that's where I, and I, maybe it's because I'm alone. I don't feel like if you're a single parent, there's a lot of alone time in there. So, you know. Once you drop the kids off, you're like alone. You're like, okay. <laughs>